really sturdy and great for baked pies. Fully covered baked pies, double crusted baked pies. So today I'm going to try out a cream of mushroom and spinach baked pie. Mini baked pie. The first thing that we're going to do for our mini pies is make the filling. So I've got a pan on, nice and hot, oil heating up, and we're going to start by sauteing onions mushrooms and spinach together but we're gonna let each one have its own time in the pan and brown up nicely before adding the next one because all three of these onions mushrooms and spinach contain a lot of water and i want that to evaporate but i don't want them to burn i want them to brown i want them to be beautiful Starting with the onions, and then we're going to add three kinds of mushrooms. I've got whole white mushrooms, baby bellas, and shiitakes, all sliced up. Those are going to go in there, and they're really going to shrink a lot. But we're going to let them cook down for a little while before we add the salt, which will make them just cry out all of their liquid. And then we're going to put in a couple pounds of fresh spinach. Let's get cooking. All right, our onions. <clears throat> are nice and golden brown and it's time to add the mushrooms to the pot. There's a lot in here but they'll shrink down so much. Just give them a little bit of time and they'll be a third this size. Now at this time I'm also going to start our hot water crust. A hot water crust is a lot like an American pie crust, except the ingredients are not cold, they're hot. So we have um, a cup and a third of liquid ingredient that's going to be heating up on the stove. It's one cup of fat. I'm using half coconut oil, half olive oil. Coconut oil for the high melting point and crispness, and olive oil for the flavor. And then it's got a third of a cup of water, and it's heating up just until it starts to bubble and boil that water, and then it's going to go into three cups of dry ingredients. I'm going to use two and a half cups of all-purpose flour and half a cup of masa for texture, and then a pinch of salt. We're going to whisk it up, well, we're going to beat it really with a paddle in the mixer uh, until it's a nice, strong, and hydrated dough, and then we're going to roll it out and make our mini pies. Our hot liquid is ready to go and I'm just going to pour this, most of it, here into my dry ingredients. Start beating it up. I'm going to keep pouring a little bit. See how it hydrates. Shaggy dough is okay. It should come together when you roll it out. But you don't want it to be too wet. Oh, I'm spilling. Mushrooms are smelling delicious. They've shrunk about half, uh, by about half now. So let's see, my dough is a bit shaggy, but when I pick it up in my hands and squeeze it, it comes together firmly. Okay, so that should be able to roll out and be fitted into our tins nicely. I'm using a medium-sized muffin tin uh, greased with a little bit of olive oil for our mini pies. I'm going to get this out of the bowl and put it on this floured surface and we can start rolling. <laughs> Oh, 
time to fill up our pies. So we cut out our hot water crust tops and filled in our bottoms here and then let these chill in the freezer for about 10 minutes. We have our beautiful cooked cream of mushroom and spinach filling here. Still a little bit hot, but that's okay. And we've got an oven preheated to 375 degrees. We're gonna put about half a cup of filling in each one. Just up to the top. Not too much liquid. Our liquid here is coconut milk. Which I let cook down. And it's just seasoned with salt and pepper, a little bit of garlic powder, some chili powder, cayenne, soy sauce. It's delicious. Creamy, savory pie. I'm so excited to get these in the oven. But because they're going to be vegan, I'm not going to put any egg wash on the top to make them shiny or to stick their tops to them. So I'm a little bit worried about getting those tops to stay on and seal. So let's see. Ooh, yeah, the juice squirts right out. Ooh, I'm going to have to put a pan underneath these while they cook. I'm just going to hope that the juice seals it. Because... <laughs> I don't want to press down too much right now. Oh no, this one broke. Oh dear. All right. Hopefully these aren't overfilled. <laughs> I'm gonna put these in that 375 degree oven for about 24 minutes. I'm gonna check them after 12 minutes and then probably rotate them. After 35 minutes in the oven at 375 degrees, our little pies are done. They didn't get very much color, but they're firm and flaky. They smell good and I'm pretty sure they're done. Now, I'm just putting them on a cooling rack and we're gonna give them a little bit of time before we pop them out and then before we pop them in because they're gonna be pretty hot. I could be the one to care for you A thousand dreams could all come true If you let me be the one here that I that I opened up <laughs> to get a little side-by-side uh, -side picture. Oh, so we've got the creamy spinach and mushrooms in here and a nice crisp crust. Mm. That's really nice. The crust is a little bit drier and flakier than I think it needs to be. And it would have been much easier to get them out of their tins if it wasn't like this. I'm thinking the masa probably got in the way of our gluten structure a little bit. Mm. Thanks for watching. See you again next time.